Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Watch. hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new RX Vega 64 GPU from AMD. Now I've been testing out this new graphics card for a couple of days now. And what I wanna do is actually take a look at the overall gaming specifications and performance, but I specifically wanna compare it against its GeForce competitor, uh, probably most suitably the GTX 1080. So what we're gonna do is run through the basic specification differences between these two GPU platforms and then we're going to take a look at some gaming real world benchmarks so that way you know how both of these two cards kind of stack up against each other so if you're interested stay tuned and let's find out how these two cards fare up against each other let's get right into it Okay, so the card that we're going to be looking at is the RX Vega 64. This is the limited edition air-cooled version. There's obviously a liquid cool version of the same uh, GPU. You can see that the build quality is absolutely sensational. It has this aluminum uh, covering all throughout of the card, which should help dissipating the heat as efficiently as possible. For our GTX 1080, we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte Extreme Edition. This is very similar to the reference grade. Obviously, you have an upgraded beefy cooler. Again, this card has an aluminum backplate like the AMD card and compared to the reference grade at 1080 uh, this can go up to 1837 megahertz in its uh, factory overclock settings and obviously you can overclock it personally to get even more faster performance. Now taking a look at the side-by-side -side specification you can see in terms of stream processors we have 4096 on our Vega 64 and we have uh, 2560 CUDA cores on our GTX 1080. In terms of texture mapping units we have a uh, 250 six on the uh, Vega 64 and about 160 on our Nvidia card. In terms of uh, render output units, we have 64 on both cards. And obviously the TDP is quite a bit higher on our AMD card, uh, just under 300 watts versus you're looking at about 180 watts on our GTX 1080. Now in terms of GPU clock speed, this will uh, depend upon which version of the cards that you particularly have, but you can see our stated uh, clock speed on the chart right now. And in terms of memory capacity, both have eight gigabytes of video memory, but there is a huge difference in terms of bandwidth. We have high bandwidth memory, a version 2.0 on our Vega 64 card which gives it a wider bandwidth than the NVIDIA card of 483.8 gigabytes a second versus 320.3 gigabytes a second on our GTX 1080. Now, lastly, in terms of pricing, this is definitely uh, going to be a kind of sensitive matter because right now the Vega lineup of GPUs is a heavily inflated pricing. There is a pretty complicated mess of uh, retailers kind of selling uh, the cards for almost 100 or almost 200 more than its manufacturer's suggested pricing. Hopefully down the road, the pricing will stabilize and become closer to what uh, initially AMD promised the cards will sell for, which is around that $500 mark for the standard air cool version of the Vega 64. Currently right now, you're not gonna find really anything in that price range. Most retailers are selling from anywhere between six to $700 uh, for this particular card. And uh, when it comes to the GTX 1080, uh, thankfully it's been around for quite some time now so you can definitely get it in that kind of mid to even lower end $500 mark so it's actually a pretty good value. Now what we're going to do is actually take a look at the uh, gaming benchmark results between these two cards so we're going to run some synthetic tests some real world gaming tests in three different resolutions uh, starting from uh, full HD to quad HD all the way to ultra 4k resolution so that we can determine which one is best suited for your needs so let's get right into it.
But really on that guys, that's really it. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Which do you think probably has the best overall performance for the price tag? Now pricing is always going to fluctuate depending upon where and when you're buying uh, these two cards. Uh, the GTX 1080 has been around for quite some time now and the price is slowly coming down. Versus the new Vega lineup of GPUs is uh, certainly at a premium price tag uh, right now. Uh, certainly because of the mining craze and everything like that. But I'm sure a price will stabilize and become more and more competitive as we go on to the holiday season. But uh, again, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your support. Check out the link in the descriptions for all of the information we talked about, and we'll see you next time. Take care.